to episode 7 of Comics and Us. I'm TJ. And I'm Chris. And I'm Lumpy. And it's the review show that reviews comics chronologically. Kind of. Alright, so we're back into Detective Comics here, going into it. Issue number 32. It was released in October 1939. This is a Halloween issue. It is 10 pages long, and it is Batman vs. the Vampire Part 2. And hey, there's vampires in this one. <laughs> yeah, Batman vs. the Vampire didn't have any vampires in it, so... I am still so confused by this whole panel <laughs> right now. <laughs> this we'll is, get into I, that. We said it last our last episode, but this is where this turned into a comic book, and not just Oh, like, it does. Oh, yeah. But before we get into that, let's talk about this cover here, where this cop is putting a chokehold on this guy. Yeah, and he's got like a cut on his eyebrow or something. It's like... No, I just thought that was a scar. Yeah, it's, it's red, though. Yeah, I think that's yeah. just the, the cover, though. Yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with Batman anyway, so... Yeah, no, it's so cops <laughs> choking out some guy with a Tommy gun, because that's what they did back then, I guess. And he's white knuckles. The Batman... The Batman is on the top of the logo of Detective Comics now, though. Yeah, was he there before? Before that little circle always said sixty-nine pages or something. Like yeah, that. yeah. Or now it says the Batman. Pages. Yeah. You know what? I also noticed. I don't think we've mentioned this before, but Batman opens up every Detective comic. It's the first issue every time. Oh, it's the first story every time. Yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't since, know that. Yeah. Since it's, it became popular, since it wasn't in the first one, right? No, it wasn't in the very first one, but ever since it started, it's always been the first story in the Detective Comics. Oh, wow. Yeah, and Slam Bradley's always been the last. Oh, wow. Yes. So Slam Bradley's the closer. Yes, apparently. He's still the okay. main event. Yeah. And I wanted to see something. Oh, yeah. And the other thing I noticed, too, is that Spy, Bart Regan, is always the second story after Batman. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. Everything else seems to change, but Spy always is the second, Batman's always first, and Slam Bradley's always the o- ending. Hmm. So I just they must have been some somewhat popular back then. I mean, they continued to print them, and they made them a pretty big deal. So, uh, uh, yeah, but it, I just found it odd the layout. You would think you would throw Batman in somewhere else to get some other things read, you know? Yeah, that's why I would think you'd put it in the middle or put it towards the end or something. Especially when he's featured on every cover now. Like, you'd think he would, yeah, they would move him around to try to get people to read other things. Because you would think if, you know, someone picked up the comic and they flipped through, they'd just read the Batman and then put it back. And possibly to Slam Bradley for some reason. I mean, Slam Bradley was probably pretty popular with Superman out at the same time. Yeah. Anyway, <sighs> let's move on to actual Batman. We open up in Transylvania. Not really, but it looks like it. It does. It's hungry, right? Yeah, it's hungry. It's very... I don't know where... Tra- Transylvania might be in Hungary, but I don't remember where it was exactly. <laughs> Not truthfully, I don't know. My geography's a little... Especially with places that don't exist anymore. Yeah, I, I honestly have no idea where Transylvania's supposed to be. So anyway, Batman chasing down a horse and carriage, and I thought that was weird, but then I remember it was 1939, <laughs> so... Oh, just so you know, Transylvania's located in Romania. Romania, that's where it was. Yeah, that's where it is. But I don't think Hungary exists anymore, but I could be wrong about that, too. Hungary definitely exists, still. I don't think it's a country anymore, though. But I could be wrong. It's definitely still a country. Country in Europe, yes. Okay. Capital is Budapest. I wasn't arguing with you. I was just going to say TJ's right, that's it. No, I mean, <laughs> I honestly didn't know. No, I didn't know either. It I mean, is... I, like I said, I know I know there was a lot of things that a lot of those countries got name changes and new regimes and cut in half and stuff. So. Yeah. It borders it... Slovakia and, and Ukraine. Okay. All right. Anyway, this isn't history or geography, so <laughs> I guess. I not... thought you were making it a geography class here, so I wasn't <laughs> sure. Well, I made the Transylvania joke in earlier, and I thought I had to explain myself, but I really didn't. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> so about this carriage. Yeah, it, yeah, that's my. That's what I was getting to. The <laughs> carriage. I was. Th- I thought it was weird about the horse and carriage, but I don't know how prevalent cars were in the nineteen thirty nine, nineteen forty. You know. Well, back in Gotham, they're prevalent. I'll tell you that, but I don't yeah, know about here. I, were automobiles prevalent in the states, but maybe not over there in Europe? Right. And. And they probably weren't, because even now, in, in Europe, European people, they don't drive vehicles the same way we do. They have a lot smaller, like, streets and towns and things, and, and they all have vehicles, say, a lot it's of, just not as common. 
a lot of places that don't have established roads, especially back then, probably didn't use cars. They probably used horse and buggies. Yeah. But the, this horse and buggy here looks weird. It doesn't look like a horse and buggy. It looks like a car that's a, with a horse yeah. attached to it. It looks like the back end of Batman's car with a horse in front of it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. With a guy sitting on top. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Batman attacks his carriage, and there's some woman inside. Who looks yeah, like his fiance. his gas pellet again. Right, that's uh, who I thought it was at first. But it's not. It is not. She's on the plane, right? He brought her with him on the plane, right? Batman did, yes. Yeah, okay. Batman has her somewhere. I don't know where he's right. keeping her right now. Right. But, well, I got but questions Bat about that later. So. Batman attacks this carriage thinking, I guess, the monk's in there. And it attacks this poor carriage driver, throws him into the moon, and then kidnaps this woman. Yes, takes her. He thinks he's saving her for some reason. I don't know that the, the carriage driver was a bad guy, <laughs> but uh, Batman definitely deadlifts him and throws him off the top of the carriage. So yes. Yeah, it, he kidnaps this woman. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. And then he takes her home to meet his fiance. Wait, this is my problem here. So he goes up onto the plane, right? Yes. But they never show him come back down off the plane. So I thought he was on the plane with these two girls. And then there's doors opening, and then there's like a, a, a trophy in there. And I thought, he's got all this crap on his plane? Yeah, no, we had this problem <laughs> last time because the monk disappeared from the boat and with his girlfriend just out of nowhere. And he right. ma magically ended up at his, at his hideout or something. Okay, don't so ba Batman flies this plane to wherever his girlfriend, his fiance, is staying at this time, right? That's, what, that's the impression that I got. Okay. But who knows? He likes to teleport. So he brought a chick he home. He does. Yeah, his girlfriend, does. she doesn't think anything's wrong with him bringing another girl home? But that's the thing. Oh. She, she doesn't know he's Bruce Wayne. That's true. That's true. She doesn't know he's Bruce Wayne. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> and she does question her immediately. Who are you? Yeah. And she does say, I got, I've been kidnapped by your friend here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And apparently she's she looks like she's hypnotized. And then she hits Batman with a statue. Well, she does the, um, I'm hypnotized from every cartoon I've ever seen. Hands out. <laughs> the hands out for, like, the sleepwalking, yeah. <laughs> so, and I told you guys it was hypnotism and not mind control. It was hypnotism, you're right. I mean, whatever. Is, is there it much difference? The same. Right, but. <laughs> anyway, so, we well, find out. What I want how come Batman can fight 30 guys, but every once in a while somebody just whacks him on the head with a, with a you know, a statue, and he goes down? Because he got hit in the back, he wasn't looking at them. Yeah, but he should know. He should know to keep his eye on this girl. She's wandering around a building. Not in the thirties. You you don't think women are going to do that thing? Uh, I, oh, he could have just smacked her and told her to calm down back then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. slapped her yeah. real quick to bring her back to her senses. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's revealed that this woman he brought home is a vampire because he she bit his fiance. Yeah, and so he chases her through the woods. And she asks him to help kill the monk, right? That's what's happening here. Yeah, well, she begs yeah. him to help her. He wants to know where the monk is, and she says, I'll tell you if you kill him. And he said, I'll be the judge of that. Like, he's ha his death count's already up to, let's see, what do, I, what do I have? It's up to five right now, according to this. Right. So, they get in a plane together, and it's attached. What is that net? Wait, they, they get in the plane they together, him. they have to fly to where the monk is. Just, I want to get this established before uh, the, before we get to the next page here. They okay. fly all the way over to where the monk is. The monk catches him in a net. Yeah. The bat plane in a net. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the, the net is catching the bat plane. It, it actually yeah. captures the bat plane and brings it down to the ground safely and does not smash the bat plane. Yeah. Because it's and not it's, blown up or nothing. No. Well, it seems to operate by magic, too, just so you know. <laughs> it is magical. <laughs> and then the monk hypnotizes Batman, and he right. can't move. Okay, so he, this is this is why I wanted to establish this. So he hypnotizes Batman, Batman can't move. So he's going to kill him, and he decides, no, I want to bring his girlfriend here, and wa let her watch him, me kill him, right? And she so walks all like She there. walks! She walks to where he flew to! <laughs> <laughs> With her hands out in front of her, over and her eyes closed, apparently. And it seems it's only like five minute walk from where they were. It's one frame. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's crazy because the woods where the woods where he picks up Dala, which is the other woman. Her name is Dala. Right. Look exactly the same as the woods that they fly to and get captured. Like they're not. There's no difference in the in the trees. And there's stuff. a lot of woods in Hungary. Apparently. There's a lot of woods in Hunger, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I think this is the last of the characters introduced, Uncle Chris. You want to tell us what characters were in the last two comics? 
Yeah, yeah. Because uh, somebody forgot last time. It wasn't me. I never got the memo that I was supposed to do it last one. So, so appearances. <laughs> the individuals in Detective Comics number 31, Batman, The Monk's first appearance, Julie Madison's first appearance, and Dr. Trent's only appearance. Dr. Trent is Batman's doctor? Is no, that that's that was? the one that told him about the werewolves. That's the one that told her to go on a cruise. That's yes. who that was. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so that that was what was there. The Batarang was in it, the Bat Rope, the Bat Gyro, and the vehicle, a vehicle called the Lunar Lady. I guess that's that ship they were on. Yeah, that was the ship they were on. So that's it and for um, Detective was, 31. Yep. Okay, so now, now we're on Detective 30, uh, Comics Detective 32, but I, I don't like this because I'm going to give you a spoiler if I read you who the, the, the people are in this one. So we yeah, got you Batman. You have to say that at the end. <laughs> you want me to wait then? All right, let's save it for the end. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> save, about. Save, well, because in parentheses, after a certain guy, it says, you know, Correct. maybe. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, whatever. <laughs> anyway, so Julie comes, and he's going to turn her into a werewolf is what I got out of it. Yes. No. Yeah. Oh, he says it. Yeah, yeah, he does say he's going to turn her into a werewolf. You're right. And yeah. actually, he's going to make Batman watch and then he, before he kills him, though. Yeah, but then he throws him into the thing. Right, he's going to kill Bat. Well, yeah, you're right. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> That doesn't make Any, sense. Anyway, the monk transform into a badger. That's what I got written down here. <laughs> it does look like a badger. <laughs> it looks exactly like a badger and not like a wolf. <laughs> Apparently Batman never seen Ernest, because Ernest tells him never do that to a family of badgers in this one movie. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then the wolves come as Batman gets pushed into a hole. Yeah. And then all of a sudden he's got bad aim and can't throw his rope up onto this conveniently placed hook. Well, why the hook there is there is, is crazy to me, but... I think his rope can't reach the hook, right? Yeah, it's too light. The The rope won't reach the hook. It's not heavy enough to reach the so, rope light. I don't know. It doesn't he matter. does throw it as he's fallen, and he has hit that before, that, that throw before. Yeah, You're I know. Right. Yeah. He does throw it there. And as for the, the hook being conveniently placed there, there's a lot of conveniently placed things for Batman to grab onto when he falls. You're right. You're right. And every pitfall. I got one later in a later comic. That <laughs> Me too. <laughs> He's able to snag a flagpole that's like four buildings away, but this thing right. that looks like it's about 12 foot high, he can't reach it with his rope. Don't forget, though, just a couple hours ago, he took a whack to the head. Maybe he's a little wonky still. He did. That's true. Yeah. But he does have an infinite amount of these gas pellets. Like, he has so many gas pellets, it's insane. He reloads. He hasn't been back to his bat lair yet. They're in his airplane. He's still in Hungary. Oh, okay. Maybe they're in his airplane. <laughs> this is where it becomes so, a comic book. So he throws <laughs> the gas pellets to put the dogs to sleep, I guess. Yeah. A and then he ties a battering to his rope to escape. But instead of hitting that hook, he goes up and throws it around a pillar. Right. But this is the first appearance of, of uh, you know, a type of grappling hook here for Batman. Right. Tying his battering to the end of the rope. Yeah. So then Batman goes to his plane, I assume... Makes silver bullets, yes. takes a gun, and then shoots the monk in his sleep. Yes, for one new Batman, our, our Batman we grew up with doesn't like guns. Right. Guns are a big no-no. This is the first time you see him shoot someone with a gun. For one, where he just went and found statues and made silver bullets out of them? Is that what he did? It yes, way, he yeah. melted down the silver statues. Now, do silver bullets kill vampires? There's some lore they do kill vampires. Okay. It depends on what lures you're talking about. I think in Hungary, those vampires can be killed by silver bullets. Can okay. we can we but stop for a second? Hold on, and... before we, we before we stop into that, I just want to point out my problem isn't with the gun itself; is that he shoots the guy in his sleep. I know he's a vampire, <laughs> but they well, not just the guy. Him. So that's the other point. Did he kill the other girl? Did he kill Dala the vampire too? Because he I mentions mean, that he has to kill both of them to get rid of the curse. I just need to know if I'm making this death count six and seven or just six. I'd say six and seven. Chris, what were you going to stop us for? Well, I need to go back here and figure this out because it doesn't make any oh. sense. So, okay. are they vampires or werewolves? <laughs> right. Because that's, that's right. the monk turns He's into in a coffin. wolf and then goes <laughs> to sleep in the coffin as a vampire. And Julie has but... been bitten... By a were by a vampire, but he's going to turn her into a werewolf. All right, so here's the thing: in vampire lore, they do have the ability to shape change into other animals, wolves included. Yes. So 
But that he just made true. a point. Chris uh, Lumpy just made a point. She gets bit by a vampire, so now she's a vampire, and he's well, talking about turning her into a werewolf. That's, I was that was I was <laughs> getting to that too. Okay. In, in most vampire lore, if you're bit by a vampire, you also have to drink of their blood to become a vampire. So she probably wasn't completely turned. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It, she was just being she being fed off of and not turned. Yeah, but he was saying a werewolf. Oh. He wasn't saying a vampire. Yeah, I, I understand that's... that. I'm saying she didn't get turned into a vampire. So oh. they, they were going to feed him to the werewolves to turn her into a werewolf so that she could be a pet rather than an equal. So, okay. Yeah, because the whole lore between behind all of it, a silver bullet kills a werewolf. I get it that in some lore it also kills a vampire, but they, they've mixed this lore up quite a bit here in this but thing. You also it have confused to me a lot. You also have to remember, this is 1939, and not all the Universal Monster movies were out at this time. I think only Dracula was out. That's true. True. So, I think back then, all the monster lore was still in books, and it was all conjumbled together. And it was all real. <laughs> yeah, it was all real, too. <laughs> it, it is real. It's still real. In the, in the one synopsis I had, it says, As Dorm rises over the country, the Batman scours the castle until he finds the coffins housing the monk and Dala. He melts down a silver statue, fastens two silver, and fashions two silver bullets. Using these two bullets, Batman destroys the two vampires. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. So, all right, what, go ahead, Uncle Chris. What didn't you want to spoil? Okay, so the individuals in this are Batman, and the last time it said the monk first appearance. This one says the monk death. That's what it says. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. And then okay. Julie Madison, but then Dala, it says only appearance. So I guess she was only in this one, and she dies in this one. So only appearance there. Okay, so okay, so death count is up to seven. I would say seven. Okay. Yes. All right, and then Batman reunites with his fiance and flies off in the bat plane. The end. Finis. No, it doesn't say Finis. It does. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does say Finis. Yours doesn't say Finis? Uh, Finis? It's too washed out for me to see. Oh, uh, yeah. Or say says, in the I don't, I don't below even, the bat plane, it says Finis. I, I only see a new intriguing Batman story starts next month in Detective Comics. So. <laughs> see, now mine says a new intriguing Batman story every month in Detective Comics. Yeah, that's what mine says. Every month. No, my at the the very last panel. Yeah. Yeah. Mine starts says story starts next month in Detective Comics. Wow, this wow. one says every month. Mine definitely that's says weird. story every month in Detective Comics. That is weird. I wonder which one's right. Well, I'm probably reading a scan of the original. I'm yeah, thinking TJ's be. is the original. Yeah. So. It, it would make sense if it's the original. Next month would be the next month if it's an original, you know. Yeah. Mm. Is that it? I got nothing else. You got anything else? No. No. Still no, confused a little bit. But we, we wanna... got we got vampires. It yeah. was a it was a Halloween issue. So I mean, make want to get werewolves and vampires. Yeah, I mean it's October. I don't know why they started it in September, but they got it. <laughs> Do we want to hear again, a Batman joke? Hold on, before, but the September <laughs> issue had giant gorillas, and we didn't know about the vampires. Ah, that right, that's true. It's true. All right, yeah, yeah, we're gonna finish off with Uncle Chris's stupid Batman joke. <laughs> Come best on, this Batman one's pretty good. Ever. Ready? This one's this one's the best one yet. Why does Batman only wear dark colors? Why? Because he doesn't want to get shot. Why does Robin only wear bright colors? Why? Because Batman doesn't want to get shot. <laughs> 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 they can shoot Robin. I like that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Come why? on, give me a little bit on that one. <laughs> you got me. A, it was a little bit. You got a little bit. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, before we go, uh, Uncle Chris, this is the start of a new batch. You want to push anything? Yeah, you, if if you like the sound of my voice, you can find me on the Jay and Silent Bob Minute, where me and my co-host Jeff are covering all the Jay and Silent Bob movies one minute at a time. By the time you get there, we'll probably be on Dogma. And that's it. Anybody I'm, else? I'm assuming Lumpy has nothing. Still nothing. All right. And then, as always, if you're already listening to this, you know about anime and us, you can check that out. And whatever other podcasts are on this at the time of this releasing. <laughs> anyway, that's it for that. Bye. Bye. See. See ya.